Hello and welcome to the Futures Lab. So this week we're going to start a new project and that's going to be a quiz game which I'm going to make look like a game show. So first things first, let's do some, create some of the characters that we're going to need and get a nice backdrop that's going to suit this game. So look in the bottom right corner of your screen and you'll see where we've got the cat. We don't need the cat for now so click on that little X next to the cat when it's all selected in blue. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom right corner and click on choose a backdrop just over here. Now you can look through for a backdrop that you like. The one that I'm going to choose is called Spotlight. Looks like very much like a game show to me. And now we're going to get three characters. So just in the bottom right corner where it says choose a sprite, that little cat face, click on that. Now the characters that I'm going to choose are going to be Giga. I'm going to have Giga be the game show host. And the two different contestants who are going to be providing the answers to the questions, and then you, the player, are going to select between them to see who's got it right. We're going to get first Pico. And then we are going to get Nano. Now, you can move these characters around by clicking and dragging them around, but I found and that I, where I really like them, if you're using the same characters as me, is I got Pico and then put into the coordinates. So if you look here over on the right side of the screen, you should have a number next to the X. Delete that number and type in 110. The X controls how far left and right the character are. So I want this to go a bit lower. So delete the number that you've got next to where it says where it's got the Y coordinate right here and type in minus 110. Okay, that's good. Now I'm also going to make Pico a bit smaller. So look for where it says size 100 on the right side. Delete that and type in 75. That looks good. Um, now with Nano, click on the nano character. We're going to check set X to minus 110 and Y to minus 110 and we're going to set the size to 80. So that looks nice to me, although Pico is facing the wrong direction. So let's fix that. Click on Pico, go to the top left corner and click on costumes. And then look in the top middle of the screen and you should see flip horizontal. Click on that and now that looks much better. Yeah, there we go. We've got all these characters now in their game show. To make it look a bit more like a game show and less like a concert, I'm going to put a desk in front of Giga. So this is the last um, uh, sprite we're going to add into the game and we're going to draw this sprite. So go to the bottom right corner of the screen, hover over where it says choose a sprite and move your mouse up twice to where it says paint. There's this little picture of a paintbrush right here. Click on that and now we should be able to paint a desk for our game show host. So to do that we're going to go to the rectangle tool right on the left side of the screen here. We're going to click on fill in the top left corner where it's all purple and we're going to get a nice brown color which means we get red and then we make it really dark and that gets us usually brown and now I'm going to do something interesting look under look at the top of where all these colors are there's these four buttons click on the fourth button which is kind of like a circle inside a button and now we get to put two different colors in and make the second color another different shade of brown. So now when you are drawing your big circle you should have this cool kind of uh, so your big rectangle you should have this cool kind of um, multi-colored effect like but we need a much smaller desk than that so we're going to make this desk I'm going to zoom in the bottom right corner, you can click on the little magnifying glass to make it bigger. And I'm going to make a little top to the desk and I'm going to use 
use the select tool to click on this top to the desk. I'm going to press control on my keyboard and then C and then control and then V and that copy pastes. So now I've got the bottom is exactly the same size. So now I've got this desk and that desk is a bit too tall. So I'm going to select all of this, squish it down a bit, make sure it's in the middle. Get it just right till I'm happy with it. Yeah, that seems good. And now we've got our game show host uh, sitting um, behind a desk, which I think is going to make the uh, game show vibe work a lot better. So this sprite should be named Sprite 1. We're going to change that. Click on where it says Sprite Sprite 1. Click on the Sprite 1 and rename it desk. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to introduce our player to how the game works and what they need to do. Give the player some instructions. Uh, so click on Giga and we're going to rename this Giga. Um, so we can call it Game Show Host if you like. Game Show Host or you could just call the sprite host as long as you know what it means and whenever I'm going to call it game show host uh, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, now we're going to put some code into our game show host. Now we're not going to do too much today, we're going to do a lot of the actual question code next week but we're going to do some nice code to introduce um, our game and also play a bit of music as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, events, the yellow category on the left. Make sure that you've got the game show host selected. Um, make sure that you've got code selected in the top left corner. Once you've done that, once you go to the yellow category for events and drag out when green flag clicked. I'm going to zoom in on this so it's a bit easier for you to see. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to looks, the purple category. And we're going to drag out something that says switch costume to Giga something. Now this piece of code is going to change which costume um, Giga is currently displaying. Um, so to know what that means, in the top left corner click on costumes. And you should have four different Gigas on the left side of your screen. Four different game show hosts. And you can see they've just called these Giga A, Giga B, Giga C, and Giga D. Now we're going to rename these a bit later um, when we use them, but for now all you need to know is that gig we're going to rename Giga A as, um, let's just call it Talking 1, and we're going to rename Giga B as Talking 2. All right. Um, and then, actually, while we're here, why not? Let's click on Giga C and rename that to correct, because this is the face that Giga is going to make when you get an answer correct. And then go to number four, Giga D, and rename that as incorrect, because this is the face that Giga is going to make when you are wrong, uh, when you answer a question. Um, top left corner, click on code. So we should now have when the green flag clicked, switch costume to, and we're going to make this talking one. So when you start the game, Giga, make sure it's just, it's just sort of smiling there. That's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a my block. Go to the uh, left side of the screen and look for that red category, my blocks. There's nothing there yet, so we're going to make one. In the top left corner, click on make a block. Now we're going to name this block explain the game and press OK. So now you should have this define explain the game and drag that off somewhere by itself. We're going to put some stuff underneath that. In the top left corner we should have explain the game, drag that and put it underneath switch costume to talking one. We're going to put a bunch more um, we're going to make a bunch more my blocks later, but for now, let's just put some stuff underneath explain the game. 
Um, and that way you know that all the code underneath this is what happens at the beginning of the game. Um, so we're gonna go to sounds in the top left corner, that little tab next to where you got to costumes. And you should look at something like this. And we're gonna add in our theme music um, for our uh, game show. Now I've got a piece of music that I quite like. Um, so click in the bottom left corner on choose a sound. Now the one that I like and the one that's long enough that I quite like is called Ode Song. So I'm gonna get Ode Song. It's about 9.6 seconds long, which is good because we want a nice long piece of music to play through the, the, the intro. Sounds a bit like this. And so now we're gonna go back to the code in the top left corner. All right, so we're gonna go to sound, the sort of pink purple category on the left. And we're going to, first, we're going to get out set volume to 100%. Now the reason we're gonna set the volume to 100% is gonna become clear in a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna get out start sound ode song. Now we could play sound ode song until done, until done, but then what would happen is it would wait for the entire song, ode song, to finish before it moved on to the next line of code. And we actually want Giga, the game show host, to start doing some other stuff while ode song is playing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to control the orange category. We're going to drag out wait one seconds because I want the music to start and then Giga to start speaking. And then we're going to click on that one and type in 0. Five seconds, just half a second should be enough. And then we're going to go to the purple category looks and drag out switch costume. And we're gonna switch the costume to talking to so that Giga's mouth opens. Um, and then we're going to get, we're going to grab out say hello for two seconds and put that underneath. Now click on where it says hello and type in something like welcome to the scratch quiz game show. So you can decide how many seconds you want this to play for, but don't make it too many. I think two seconds is probably enough. If you think it's too fast, maybe put it up to three, but I think two is probably enough. Um, and you can also say, you know, welcome to my game show with your name in here, maybe if you like. Now we're gonna drag out another say hello for two seconds. And we're gonna click on hello and type in, click on the character below who answers the question correctly. That's how we are going to answer questions in our game show. Pico and Nano are both gonna give answers each time um, the game show host um, asks a question and the player has to click on who they think has it right. So this is a bit of a long line. So maybe click on that two seconds and put it up to four seconds. Just to make sure that the player, whoever's playing the game can read it in time. Now we're gonna grab out another say hello for two seconds. Click on the hello and say ready to go question mark. And then we're gonna make that just pl just uh, display for one second. So we've got um, a 0 0.5 second wait and then a two second line of text and a four second um, speech bubble and then a one second speech bubble. These um, these say are going, um, lines of code are going to make speech bubbles appear. So there we go. So when we hit go, the text starts appearing in, on top of the game show host. And, but the music ends rather abruptly. So what we're going to do is we're going to fade the music out. 
Um, so we're going to go to control, the orange category on the left, and we're going to look for repeat 10. Drag out repeat 10 and put it underneath our say ready to go. Click on that 10 and let's change it to 20. And then we're going to go back to sound, the pink purple category, and we're going to drag out change volume by and we're going to click on that minus 10 and change it to minus 5. So that's going to reduce the volume by minus 5 until it's all the way down to 0. Because remember, it starts off at 100. So if, if, we, if we repeat this change volume by minus 5 20 times, um, then it's going to go all the way down to 0. So let's make this nice and big, and let's hit go. <laughs> Welcome to the Scratch Quiz Game Show. Click on the character below who answers the question correctly. Ready to go. And then the music fades out. And then the game show will begin. So, a nice, quick, easy first section for this lesson. Next week, we're going to start building um, in the uh, code that's going to read out the questions and check to see if the player has got the answers correct. So subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff if you want to see the next episode. Um, but until then, stay awesome, be cool to each other, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time, ninjas.